Hi everybody, I'm Jesse O'Connor from Zenith Detailing in Budapest, Hungary and in this video I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, snow foams, what they do, how they work, things like that. Now, uh, <clears throat> snow foams have come a long way since their birth, which actually wasn't too long ago. When I uh, first started using snow foams, I, I quickly came to the realization that they didn't do shit. Uh, basically, the first snow foams, the first generation of snow foams, basically all it was was a uh, sort of like a bubble bath for the car. They, it didn't clean anything, and I proved it several, several times. Uh, but again, they've come a long way since then. Uh, now, uh, if you're somebody who just wants to take their car to a car wash or something like that, for example, if you're not a detailer or anything like that, and you just take your car to the car wash and they use snow foams. There's a lot of different names that they use. They, they say active foam, uh, pre-wash, blah, 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 blah. Now, if you're gonna take your car to a car wash, be sure to ask them if it's pH neutral or not, uh, which is very important. But chances are, if you ask them if it's pH neutral, they're gonna look at you like you just farted in an elevator because, huh? Mm -hmm. what, pH neutral? And if they don't know if it's pH neutral or not, don't let them put it on your car. Uh, even if you do have wax on your car, things like that, these uh, really, really caustic cleaners that they use, basically it's a, it's a, it's a lorry wash. It's a semi-truck wash that they're using on your car. They spray it all over the car. If you don't have any wax or anything like that on your car, there's a really good chance that it's gonna damage your paint. Especially if it's summertime, you've just come in from out of the sun, your car paint is hot. They spray it on there, it will damage it with the quickness. Uh, also to metal trims, plastic trims, things like that. It's really, really dangerous. Uh, perfect example, I have a friend that uh, worked at a car wash and with the undiluted version of this pre-wash that they were using, it accidentally spilled on his hand here and it, within a split second, it burned his hand all the way up to, almost to his elbow. It was nasty. So. Even if this stuff is diluted 1 in 100 or 1 in 200 or 500, it doesn't matter. It's still very caustic and it will damage your paint. Now, <clears throat> again, uh, like I said, snow foams have become much, much more advanced than what they used to be. Now, when you put a snow foam on a car, uh, well, before you put it on the car, all of this gunk, of course, this is a clean, clean car, so I'm not going to show you an example of how to use snow foam. I'm just explaining what it does. All of this junk that's on the side of your car, this road road grime, track, traffic film, things like that, it's basically a huge conglomeration of tons and tons of contaminations. Uh, oils, uh, petrol, uh, diesel fuel, solvents, acid rain, bugs, dog shit, bird shit, you name it. Again, there's hundreds and hundreds of types perhaps even thousands of contamination on your car. Now when this stuff is on the side of the car uh, and it's all jumbled up together in a big blob, uh, it's sort of like a sponge. If you look at it under a microscope, I've seen it, it's pretty cool. It's actually quite nasty if you think about what's inside of it. But basically it's like a, a big sponge and uh, on a hardness scale it's technically quite soft. So this stuff that's on this sponge form, form that's on your car, we're gonna call it sponge blob. And I'm coining that phrase, it's mine. You can use it though. So sponge blob is on the side of your car. You spray on the snow foam. Now what sponge blob does is when it reacts with the snow foam is it becomes even softer, it loosens it up. It's kind of like putting that dirty lasagna dish in soapy water and letting it soak overnight. Uh, it basically, it soaks it up and it becomes larger and larger. It basically expands. Now, when we wash a car with a mitt, uh, we rinse it off starting from the top going down, which is perfectly fine because now you've washed the car the surfactants that are in the shampoo, things like that, it's their job to basically engulf the dirt and contamination, things like that. Uh, that way you can safely uh, rinse it away from the surface. But snow foams are different. Uh, when you put a snow foam on the car, it soaks up into sponge blob. Now, you have 
again a really soft sponge and most of us know that we should start from the bottom and work our way up to the top but here's why a lot of people don't know why so when you have this sponge blob on the side of the car and you start during the snow foam process if you start rinsing from the top going down to the bottom basically all you're doing is rinsing it out with water now all of that stuff that was inside of sponge blob that makes it sponge blob uh, the oils well sorry the the acids the solvents the, sh the salts everything like that basically all you're doing is washing out of those water soluble elements from sponge blob and what happens is now it's not sponge blob anymore now it's a solid form of greases road grime things like that so now it's even harder to remove those things because a uh, again those elements are not inside it and b you're rinsing it pretty much with cold water more likely and it hardens up and it makes it much much more difficult to remove which is why while the snow foam is still on the car basically what we do is we rinse it from the bottom going up sure it takes more time but basically what we're doing is it's, it's sort of we're ripping it off like a band-aid with lots of hair on it and uh, again so that's why we rinse from the bottom up during the snow foam process uh, yeah that's about it guys thanks for watching and uh, if you like the video give it a like check